The Pope crammed in 10 public events during his whirlwind visit to L.A. on September 15th and 16th, 1987. Only one confrontation marred this end of the parade route, and that came after Pope John Paul was already at St. Vibianus. The pontiff will be staying on the fourth floor of the rectory here at St. Vibianus Cathedral. It was all hands on deck at Fox 11. <laughs> KTTV carried every minute of the spectacle live. <laughs> Blessedly, there was no bad news to cover. 5,000 LAPD cops on the streets, 11 police choppers in the air, and crime dropped. It seems as though Pope John Paul's message of peace and harmony may have had an impact here in Southern California. In fact, bookings to the LA County Jail went down by 50%. There was peace in the valley and in the basin. Of course, Pope John Paul didn't have to worry much about the Southern California freeway system today because all of the Pope's travels in the Los Angeles area were by helicopter. The Pope made a chopper ride to the San Fernando Mission. There was a seven-mile parade with the route winding through L.A.'s many diverse neighborhoods. 300,000 people crowded the streets to get a glimpse of the pontiff. Even the non-believers, because in Hollywood, everyone loves a celebrity. Your smallest decisions can have global impact. There was a mass at the Coliseum. And another at Dodger Stadium, where people still talk about the Pope's visit to this very day. Mark Langell is the Dodgers historian and the author of a book on the various events held at the stadium. All these years have passed and anybody who was there, they just savor the fact that they were there, uh, whether they have pictures or just memories, the one and only time the Pope was at the stadium. They talk about that with more reverence than a Kirk Gibson home run or an Earl Hershiser shout out. So if they were there, they, it's something that supersedes baseball. Mark isn't wrong. Selma Castro was a self-described non-devout Catholic back then. An effusive 18-year-old Dodger employee is signed to work the mass. Let her tell you. You seen him come by, it was just something that I get chills You're just talking about it right now. It was just something beautiful. Even though assigned to stay at her post, she was a free-spirited teen and swept up in the moment. I'm working in the stand and the minute I hear somebody say he's coming in his car because he's exiting the bullpen area and you've got a bunch of steps going down to field level and I'm on field but I'm, I have to go down and I ran down there As soon as he walked by me he was giving the blessing and something just overcame me it was really beautiful beautiful feeling I started crying and I didn't even realize I was crying everybody in the crowd was literally feeling the way I was feeling because I could turn to the side and I could see other people crying too. Vicky Gutierrez was and still is a beloved usher at Dodger Stadium. Her memories are of the crowd. The people were incredible. They were excited. They were, in fact, they wanted to get down to the Pope to, to touch the Pope, but you know, they couldn't do that. After listening to their memories, it brought up one of my own. My assignment was to cover the Pope's procession through the streets of Los Angeles. Well, moments before our live shot, a huge banner was unfurled right before me. It blocked my view. And you can imagine, I thought, what do I do now? With just 30 seconds to go, with the director counting in my ear, a complete stranger extended his hand and pulled me up on top of his van so that I could have an unobstructed view of the parade. It was a magical moment, and I've always felt a little bit of my own divine intervention. So 1987, the Pope visits L.A. and has a mass at Dodger Stadium. Do you think it had any impact on your season? Well, look at Dodger fans. 1987, the Dodgers finished fourth. So maybe they're thinking they need a miracle. We get Kirk Gibson just a few months later, and the Dodgers win the championship. So Coincidence? Might, maybe. <laughs> and speaking of divine intervention, it seems to be what a lot of Dodger fans are hoping for. After that... We won the World Series in 88, so we say the Pope bless the park. <laughs> Hopefully he can come back someday. Maybe not that one, of course. That's an angel in the outfield. But maybe the next time we'll win again. <laughs> Here's to the faithful. At Dodger Stadium, Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News.